So the next uh, presentation um, is from uh, our student Charles Enwecki. And Charles's title is Capturing the Benefits of High Performance Computing for Investment Decisions in Electricity Markets, an Emphasis on Capacity Expansion in a Carbon-Constrained and Uncertain Future. So please would you welcome Charles to the stage. Thank you. Our electricity is quite essential to human and national development that cannot be argued. Um, so basically, we all have moved from the stage where we cared not so much about where the electricity comes from to now we move towards cleaner and uh, environmental friendly electricity options. And uh, perhaps in the next 20 years, we're all going to have uh, wind, windmills in our backyard or solar panels on our roofs. But I mean, if this is all going to come to pass, then uh, we need to change our approach of planning for this sort of options. So basically, in the past, we've all had ways of planning for capacity expansion, which is, has taken into account um, uh, magnitude of, of demand forecasts and matching that with capacity additions. So, um, and having looked at all this over the years, I've seen that there has to be, there's a need for change, basically. I mean, I was locked into this mobile phone contract within 24 months, and within that period, there was iPhone 4 that was released, iPhone 4S, iPhone 5, and I was just locked in there. So, and all these uh, new phones have come up with better processing capabilities. So that brings it to the thinking that uh, if we all have better uh, processing processors being released every now and then, we should improve our modeling that relies a lot on computing tractability. So, uh, this, uh, my research basically was to assess our current planning methods and processes based on the enhancements we've had on computing technology, basically. And what I did was uh, using a South Australian electricity model, I was able to um, model using the existing sort of the old metal called the low duration curves where only magnitude is considered and matched against demand forecast. And comparing that with uh, a more detailed model where I also co not just, I didn't just uh, consider the magnitude alone, I also considered, uh, I also considered cycling of thermal plants, which is due to uh, a lot of um, renewable intermittent sources being injected in the system. And what I did found fr from my research was that um, when we have high penetration of renewable capacity in the system, it leads to not only increased production costs, but ironically also leads to uh, increased emissions from the cycling of the plants. And um, what I've come to realize after all this research, that was long research basically, is that um, perhaps over the years we've had uh, a lot of criticisms on the options. So there's been a lot of uh, criticisms about maybe wind for instance and what the fact that wind isn't as economical as it should be of or how policies have painted it to be, but perhaps no one has actually talked about the planning that goes behind uh, that decisions to invest in such capacity. So basically what this research does is do not blame the option itself, blame the kind of planning that goes behind those decisions. Thank you. <laughs> 